in this political climate, I've already said, I believe that women and girls would be um, choosing to go to colleges, not in red states. So this is a an article from Politico. It's titled, I don't want to go. Some teens shun colleges in conservative states. Legislation versus applications. Colleges all around the country have endured a steep drop in enrollment since the start of the pandemic, but a new threat is emerging for schools in the South and Midwest, where conservative lawmakers are working to restrict women's reproductive rights and the rights of LGBTQ people, setting off unease and outrage among prospective out-of-state applicants. So, let's get into this. Counselors said a growing number of their clients who considered schools in Texas, Florida, and other conservative states ultimately nixed those plans because of the recent wave of restrictive measures. Students have told me, I really want to go to Texas, but I'm taking them off my list. Um, so let's see. They'll say, I don't want to go to school in a state where I won't have reproductive rights access. I don't want to send money to a state that's doing that. Prospective students fear Texas law. One measure of particular concern to the counselor's clients is Texas State Bill 8, which prohibits pregnant women from getting an abortion after a fetal, heartbreak, a fetal heartbeat is detected. College-age women account for a significant share of all abortions performed in the U.S. With Roe v. Wade now on shaky ground, obviously it's now been overturned, Texas is far from the only state seeking to restrict women's access to abortion. So far this year, 29 states have introduced bills banning the procedure and three states, Idaho, Oklahoma, and Wyoming, have signed such bills into law. College counselors said they expect those states to see a dip in out-of-state applicants. This generation of teens is politically engaged. They're thinking, how much is politics going to impact my experience at college? Even as states rush to restrict women's access to abortion, data shows a growing number of campus student health centers refer people who seek abortions to other providers. In a 2010 survey by the American College Health Association, 65% of centers responded, um, responded reported offering referrals for the procedure, whereas 87% did in 2020. So that's a jump. Starting next year, all University of California and California State University campuses will go even further and start providing mediation abortion services at campus student health centers. So I do believe that this country will shift and where women go will depend on our rights. Where gay people go will depend on their rights. Like, comment, share.